There is outrage in Anderson tonight as 22 firefighters and seven police officers could soon lose their jobs. The mayor's office is proposing a 2013 budget that would include eliminating those positions. Hundreds turned out to protest the budget cuts, and our Drew Smith was there. Members of the Anderson Common Council got an earful here tonight inside the building and out as area residents expressed their concern over more than two dozen public safety officers that might lose their jobs. We need all the officers that we have plus more and to cut these officers is just going to be a disaster. I pray that nobody in this room needs the police or fire in their new future. Before you pass this budget, you need to look at everything. The public service has to be number one. The mayor's office claims $9 million in lost tax revenue since 2005. A reduction in the number of residents and closed factories make the staff reductions necessary. Both chiefs of fire and police have assured us that they can maintain our safety levels with the reduced staff. We need to be more efficient with less. Scott Calhoun is president of the Fraternal Order of Police. He says a staff reduction of seven officers will make it unsafe for residents. What happens if we have two, two armed robberies that go down at the same time and, and we have, you know, possibly a hostage situation or something like that? How do you respond? Jamie Grant is one of those patrol officers with little seniority who could lose his job soon. I feel like I'm in a state of limbo. I mean, I want everybody to understand that it's very serious. You know, if you lose seven officers, I mean, no telling what's going to happen to the city. There is litigation underway between the firefighters union and the city over language in the current contract. Union Chief John Smith did make a few brief comments. The budget before you does not provide for adequate public safety services to the citizens we are all sworn to protect. So the consensus here among area residents is cut those public safety positions and you're putting people here in Anderson at risk. Drew Smith, RTV6. Now sources tell us the debate got heated at times and the council will vote on the proposed budget at a meeting scheduled for next month.